So in his confessions, St. Augustine writes, Cut off my lips from all rashness and lying, both inwardly and outwardly. Let your scriptures be my pure delight. Let me not be deceived in them, nor deceive from them. Lord, listen and pity me. Lord, my God, light of the blind, strength of the weak, listen to my soul and hear it crying from the depths. So today's psalm is Psalm 119. It looks like we're around uh, uh, verse 66, Teth. Lord, let your face shine on me. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. I am your servant. Give me discernment, that I may know your decrees. The revelation of your words shed light, giving understanding to the simple. So as I think about that, as Christians, we are drawn to be servants, right, of God. We have to ask for discernment. The angels and demons, the immaterial beings, are at work in the world. Everybody has an angel, but the uh, but so many people seem like they're bound, right, because people want to listen to the demons. And the angels, I think, you know, even though there's myriads and myriads of them and more than there are demons, the angels also stand in the beatific vision, beholding the glory of God, how much it must be to be drawn, because each of us has a guardian. So we must ask for their help. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom's God's love and trust me here. Over this day, be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule, and to guide. O Lord, our Father, help me to see clearly, to hear clearly, to understand all that I come across today. Amen.